gaming how are you doing today so uh, as of recently I've decided you probably already know sorry but uh, I decided I'm gonna be playing put me posting my videos from Monday to Friday that's gonna be my schedule but uh, so far I'm working on four different game series Honey Pop, Planets of Freddy's. Uh, I'll be working on Xenoverse in place of Evil Within, and of course Mega Dimension Neptunia. But that leaves one problem. That takes up the Monday spot, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. What about Friday? Well, I think I found the solution to that. Um. As I've been taking a look around YouTube, there's a game that for some reason has been taking up a surprising amount of popularity in recent uh, weeks. And I'm going to find out why exactly. I know a few YouTubers, I've seen a few YouTubers who uh, have been playing it lately. I'm actually kind of surprised that a game like this is getting such popularity considering its content. So, without uh, further ado, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Sakura Dungeon. Don't you look at me like that. You knew shit like this was going to happen, didn't you? Don't you give me that look. So yeah, I think we all knew this was going to happen eventually, especially given the popularity this game is amassing as of lately. But yeah. Hopefully you'll enjoy this series and uh... I have hopes that it will go well. You know what? Maybe I should adjust my camera before we keep going with this. Stick it up here. Alright. So, uh, let's get her going. Hmm. Difficulty, uh, default difficulty of soccer dungeon. Torn clothes are automatically repair when in town. Torn clothes. If you aren't familiar with the soccer game series, or you say, I want to call it games because it's 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 a whole lot of games, but not really any connecting storylines or anything like that. If you're familiar with the soccer games, I'm l lightly familiar with them due to a few YouTubers here and there, but uh, let's just stick with normal. It's going to be a lot of reading, I know that much. Huh? Is this long dream finally over? What happened to me? How much time has passed? I cannot say for sure, but I can tell that I have not been awake for a long time. Wonder who this is? That's right. I'm beginning to remember now. A, a loud yawn escapes from my lips as I look at my surroundings. So I guess this is us. Interesting. 
I rub the sleep away from my eyes, my blurred vision slowly focusing. That was a good nap. It's then that I notice someone else standing in the room. You, monster. A woman clad in silver armor is pointing a sword at me. She's kind of rude, considering that I have just woken up. Seriously, don't go point the sword at people while they're just waking up. I'd freaking take the sword and show up her ass. But... I challenge you. I can't help but ignore her for a moment. Looking behind me, I see a shrine with a crystal in its center. Tapping the strange crystal, I feel my finger go numb. Tell me, what did you do inside this room? Eh? I solved the puzzle, and you emerged from the mist which came out of it. So it seems like I was sealed in a puzzle. I have no idea how this puzzle works, but this woman has ca was capable of figuring it out. But enough of that. I know not what you are, but I will defeat you. Oh, so you're an adventurer. I look her up and down. She does look like the type. You can obviously tell that she's trained hard. Every single one of her movements are precise and efficient. Know my name, Fox. I am... S Sari? I am Sari, the adventuring knight. If you are an adventurer, You'd be up to date on current events, right? I don't understand why you're asking me that, but yes. Tell me, adventurer. When did the domain of Queen Isis disappear into the dunes? Queen Isis. Like the goddess Isis? The Egyptian goddess? She looks at me dumbfounded. Eh? What a bizarre question. That was during mythical times, hundreds if not thousands of years ago. Oh, so it's been a while then, several hundred years. I wonder what has changed while I've been asleep. Do you not even care that I am here? Stop insulting me. She brings her blade down in an arching slice. I step to the side, weighing it completely. Yeah, she looks like she's a little surprised at what the hell was happening there. She looks at where I was standing. How? So fast. Oh? It seems my power is missing. I can feel the magic pulsing through the room around me. My magic has been siphoned while I was asleep. That is not good. It seems that I am going to have a lot of questions to ask. I get back to town, presuming it's still there. I still have enough power to defend myself against this adventure hour. Throw the hilt of her sword with both hands, she swings at me again. Could you please stop that? Again and again, she keeps swinging. She's fast, very fast. For a human, at least. However, she isn't able to with me. No, you can't be this fast. Why not? You, you just can't. She's quivering anxiously now. Damn it. Ignore me for a moment, she looks upon herself. No, I can't run away. She steals herself. Face me, monster. She charges at me, brandishing her sword carelessly. I've had enough of this. In my hand, a swirling orb of water forms. Launching from my hand, the orb hits the adventure in the chest, and force, the force of it sends her flying back across the room. Her armor shatters into pieces. Of course it does. Shitty armor, but just breaks the pieces of that, though, I gotta say. I slowly walk over, looking down as she lays on the ground. She tries to stand back up, but is unable to muster the strength to do so. But she doesn't look afraid. In fact, she's looking me dead in the eye. So, this is it then. 
I knew this day was going to come eventually. Despite her obvious pain, she forces a smile. Well, you are my last opponent. Could I get a last re request? I think you misunderstand my intentions. Even though this woman is hostile, I have no intention of ending her life. From my lips, ancient words pour. Mana envelops the room, slowly circling in on the fallen night. Wait, what are you doing? Eventually I finish the spell and my mana dissipates. Come on, get up. But, what? Don't be... Her body responds then and stands upright. She looks shocked. What? My body did that on its own. What did you do to me? Sorry, I had to test if the spell worked, up, worked correctly. What spell? What did you do? It is a binding spell, a magical contract between you and I. From this day forward, you are my subordinate, and I am your master. You may call me Yomi. I used the last of my power on this spell, so I'm going to be relying on you, Sari. I'm your what? Release me from the spell, immediately. Sorry, but I can't release the spell right now. First of all, we need to get you somewhere safe. Let's see if I still have it. Check all my pockets. I can't help but smile when I see it. Here it is. I firmly grab the knight by her arm. What are you doing? Please, just tell me what's going on. Three, two, one. The warp stone inside my robe begins to resonate. One moment we were standing in that room. The next, we're standing in my hometown. Where are we? Somewhere safe. This is the town I passed through earlier. Why here, of all places? Oh, good. Good to know the illusion spell is still working, then. What's even better is that this town is still standing. Illusion spell? I don't understand. What do you mean by... She just slumps her shoulders in defeat. Well, some are safe. But what does this town mean to you, Fox? There's humans here, so I, wouldn't this place be unsafe for you? Not at all. I found this town myself. We need to disguise the dungeon's entrance. So this was our solution. Dungeon's entrance? Wait, are you telling me that you're... the dungeon lord? I was, at least. But I'm guessing that is no longer the case. My connection to the dungeon has been severed, so that can only mean one thing. I've been usurped. Sari stares at me with disbelief. Such a thing can happen? Sometimes, yes. Let me guess, you were there to clear out the monsters. Well, yes. But I have failed miserably. That's good, actually. Our goals are the same. Anyway, I do not like seeing you walk around tatters. Let's go get you cleaned up. I take her with me to the inn. As I step inside, everyone goes silent. Everyone immediately stands up and rushes to the entrance. One particular figure stands out among them. No other than Isabella, my innkeeper. My humble master, is that really you? Really, really, really? Who else would be Isabella? Cheers are up from the inn. Sorry to keep you all waiting. We didn't know what happened to you. One day you were here, and then you disappeared. This is so sudden. Where have you been? I was sealed away inside of an abandoned room. I do not quite remember how that happened, but I think I will work it out. I see. The important thing is that you're okay. We are so glad to have our dungeon lord back. I'm glad to see you all again. However, there is a problem at hand. Yes. Unfortunately, in your absence, someone else has taken your dungeon from you. I've heard things are really bad down there right now. Sari just stares at them. You you were all monsters? Like I said, illusion spell. Since you're currently my subordinate, you can see through it. She appears to be in a state of shock. Oh yes. We served her earlier. What is she doing with you? She's the one who released me. 
So now I've decided that she's going to work for me from now on. It's not like you would take humans for servants. Well, I have a good feeling about, the girl, about this girl. She's looking kind of pale. It looks like you two had a bit of a disagreement. Please see to her needs. No problem. I'm more than happy to serve you, my humble master. She leads Siri away to the spare room. I'll have a hot bath ready for you right away. I should be able to mend your mend this armor too. Okay. That sounds fine. A dry bath and a fresh change of clothes. Siri looks like she has recovered from her shock. You're strangely not spillable for monsters. This that normally would have cost me hundreds of gold pieces. We look after our own around here. Now then, Siri. I know you aren't going to like this, but we have to work together now. You want to clear out the dungeon. I want to get my dungeon back. I do not think it is in the result to join forces, do you? She goes silent for a moment. While I find the idea of working for a monster completely absurd, I know that there is nothing I can do about the spell you placed on me. And it is, as you've said, we have a, sh a common goal. To defeat the monster reigning over this dungeon. I see, so I see no point in being angry about things I cannot change. I accept this bargain. It makes me very glad to hear that, Sari. You look like you're quite experienced with dungeon delving, so I'm sure your, experti your expertise will be useful. Huh, it did me no good against you. I haven't had a real challenge in a long time. It's gone to my head. Perhaps this experience is just what I needed. Sometimes you just need a blow to your pride. It cannot hurt now and then, can it? Humility is the only way that we improve ourselves. She lets out a bitter laugh. I would have liked to have learned this lesson a different way. But as you said, there is no point in complaining about circumstances you cannot change. Anyway, if you need some time before we begin our adventure, I understand. Please feel free to make use of any of the services we have here. Thank you. I think the first thing I need is a drink. She wanders off to the bar then. While this entire situation isn't ideal, I can't help but be excited. Several hundred years is plenty of time for things to change. There could be entire new human kingdoms out there. New monsters I should meet. New food I could eat. It's as if I have stepped into another world. While I cannot say that I am ha I'm happy I was sealed, I want to make the most of this experience. So let's see what lies ahead. Alright. Now, um, I'm having a little hard time reading, so I'm going to see if I can fix the camera a bit so it'll blow up my face. I take my mask off and uh, wear my glasses for the rest of this. Un momento. Ugh. Really warm wearing a mask. Wait, I just want to make sure that uh, putting my glasses I'm going to frig up the... Uh, looks like it hasn't. Alright. Let's see what we got here. We could explore the dungeon, go to the shop. Party status. We don't have much of a party right now, but I will save the game. Here we go. Walk around town. What's in town? There's some free time at the moment. It'd probably be good to check in my check in my servants. You never know what may be happening in town. So it is always a good idea to stay up to date at the local gossip. Considering how much I've spent asleep, I would be happy to hear some recent news. So I wonder what I should do first. To progress through the dungeon, dialogue events will become available in town. Checking these events can lead to uncovering secrets or unlock special events. So make sure that you check if there is any events available after you come back from the dungeon. 
Mm, perhaps I would be better. Or let's do this later. All right. So there's nothing to do. Talk to Isabella. I make small talk with Isabella, but we don't have real, we don't really have much to share at the moment. Perhaps I should talk to her later. All right. Go to the shop. As I enter the shop, someone smiles at me from behind the counter. Now here is someone I have not seen in a long time. I did not believe it when they said you were back. Well, I'm here. So, what wondrous goods does my shopkeeper have to share today? Well, we've fallen in hard times since the new dungeon lord took over. We currently do not have the capacity to make any particularly strong items at the moment. If you bring me mana shards, though, I can make you some basic items. I hope that is enough to make you happy. It is more than enough. You have kept things here nice and tidy, even after hundreds of years. I am very proud of you, Charlotte. It's good to hear your kind words again, my humble master. I've been saving this in case I needed it, but I think it would be better if you had it. She walks to me and places something on the palm of my hand. You found a warp stone. A warp stone? Excellent. Thank you, Charlotte. You are more than welcome. Bring back mana shards from the dungeon. I will gladly make you more. At the moment, the shop does not have a wide array of items. As you progress through the dungeon, more and more items will become available. Make sure to frequently check the shop and see what else is available between dungeon expeditions. Warp stone, healing potion. Crap, don't have money. Or mana shards. I don't have those. Change outfits. Meet captured monsters. Okay. Explore the dungeon, I guess. As we step towards the gate, Sari seems apprehensive. So within matter. Well, apart from everything that just happened, there is always a sense of anticipation before you first enter a dungeon. Well, this is the second time I am entering. Technically, it is the first. My sealed chamber has long since been cut off from the actual dungeon. I see. Anyway, let's not worry about that. Let's go take my dungeon back. Okay. That's... Tally-ho! As we step inside, I can smell the earth and dust in the air. A dim darkness illuminated by a few bare torches spreading out in front of us. It is all too familiar to me. It's good to be home. So before we get started, there's just a few things I would like to make clear, Yomi. Yes. If we are going to work together, can we please approach this my way? Although you are very powerful, I do not know how much dungeon delving you've done. But I feel that it would be best to use my experience here. As you wish. I'm here to simply provide guidance. What path you take is up to you. Strange words for someone who just enslaved me. This is just a necessary part of our agreement. So what do you propose? She pulls out a bundle of papers and what appears to be a writing quill. Knowing a place like this is a difficult task. You need a map every step of the way. It's far too easy to get lost if you do not keep track. Very well. Anyway, I will take points. Let's get going, Yomi. Navigate using W, Q, E. Okay, so. Alright, so. I'm using those. W makes. Yeah, I, I, I get the. Yep, uh huh. Okay, so. As we continue to walk forward, I hear something, a sound of something, moving in the darkness. Sari immediately reacts, readying her weapon to strike. Bit by bit, our enemy emerges into the light of Sari's blazing torch. Oh, visitors! This is an enemy? Doesn't look like an enemy, it looks like... It looks like someone you might want to cuddle up to on a cold night. <laughs> a rabbit monster. Aren't, they no, aren't these notoriously weak? Typically in most games, usually the first enemy to run into in an RPG 
medieval RPG at least, usually is uh, a rodent of some sort. It's usually a rat. Rabbit. Makes sense in that sense. But, uh, it's probably the cutest monster I've seen in my life. Nothing is done as it seems. She has a good part of my power. Do not underestimate her. I'm very sorry, but the Dungeon of Lawyer has made it clear the visitors aren't allowed. I'm also very sorry, but I can't leave. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah, this kind of stuff works, so... Triple Slash. Ooh. Interesting. Triple Slash. She done. Oh my! As Syria deals the final blow, the bunny's girl's practically blown away by the force of it. I think I'm starting to see why this became so popular on YouTube. Her clothes are torn to tatters, leaving her completely exposed. For a moment, she just sits there on the cave floor, looking down at the cloth scraps on the floor. M my clothes! No! Why did this have to happen? Extremely embarrassed. She tries to cover herself up with her hand. You didn't have to be that mean, you know. I, I know that I had to stop you, but you really shouldn't have used such excess force. A lot of sniffle comes from the bunny. On an easy look sells in Siri's face. I'm sorry, but it was necessary. If you had just let me pass, this wouldn't have happened. You had clearly won, you know. But then you destroyed my clothes? The Dungeon Lord doesn't give us new clothes for months on end. She is so mean to us on the upper floors. Sorry, he looks back at me. It's only the first floor, and I already feel like a villain. She lets out a heavy sigh. Is there anything we can do for her? Absolutely. I walk over to the sniffling bunny. She looks up at me with dewy eyes. Oh, come on. Everything is going to be fine. I gently pat her on the head. She looks a little less upset then. Is it? Head back up to the stairs and talk to my innkeeper. She'll make new clothes for you. But if I leave, the overseer will we'll get angry. And she's really, really scary when she's angry. But wait, she'll be angry anyway. I'm in so much trouble. You don't have to come back. If you leave, you could just leave forever. They aren't going to be able to hunt you down. Really? Her eyes are filled with hope now. She eagerly awaits my confirmation. Yes, just get out of here. But, but are you going to stop them? That is why we're here. I cannot tolerate injustice being done to my poor little monsters. Thank you. Do your best down here. She immediately leaves, taking off far faster than I was expecting. Well done, Sari. You have won your first battle. It is merely one step of a long journey. But she was far stronger than I was expecting. She said she absorbed part of your power. Yes, my power has been stolen from me and shared among the monsters of this dungeon. If we're going to survive, we will need to reclaim as much of it as possible. I'll share my power with you as we go along, Sari. Well, although I prefer to use my own strength, I'll take whatever boons I can. Alright. So, yes. Let's see what's down this way. God damn. An event. Sari, before we proceed further, I need to ask a favor of you. What is Yomi? I know that you do not appreciate your position right now. I'm afraid that we need to capture more subordinates. So you want me to catch them for you? Exactly. Uh, do not agree with this idea as a matter of principle. We need as many allies as we can get. So, what does you need me to do? I will show you how to use the capture spell. So I'm directly channeling magic through you. It should be a simple task. Very well, show me how. Sarah's learned the capture ability. All monsters you encounter 
at random while inside the dungeon can be captured. After capturing them, they will be sent to the prison in your hometown. You need to go meet your capture monster if you want to add them to your party. Capture monster, you must do enough damage with the capture ability to feed her. Ideally, you should weaken them until they can be taken out with one hit. Not all monsters can be captured this way, but there may be other means of recruiting those monsters to your cause. Monsters who are higher level than the caster or the capture spell cannot be captured. I see. So it's like... It's like... Pokemon with scantily clad women. Okay, I kind of forgot to read any of that, but, uh, it was just a small, it was just a short conversation. It didn't really matter much, I don't think. Alright, this way we go. Job. We are our first ally. That's one way to put it. But are you sure that a rabbit is going to be much use to us? You wouldn't underestimate that rabbit. They are particular. Sp they are particular species I found in the windswept plateaus to the north. While they seem harmless enough, they have a natural affinity with the wind. They can tear you apart without even having to touch you themselves. What an unusually vicious rabbit! I suppose it's a good thing they are on our side now. Very much so. Remember not to look down at anything you find in this dungeon. I can come back to bite you. You captured your first party number. Do you want to add her to the dungeon? But I had to get punch red. Let's sit with that earlier. Oh, <laughs>